Yes. Yes. We're doing this. We're doing this. Zelda Wind Waker HD. God, do I have nostalgia playing this. So, this is actually a let's play that um, I've been dying to make. I want to do this let's play so bad. And as you can see, there's a link there in the background. He's awesome. Uh, I wish I could record the gamepad, but unfortunately, unfortunately I can't. Uh, I will tell you guys if something's on the gamepad if I need to. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Gamepad and uh, quest log one. Use the gamepad to input. Uh, my name is. I guess you could call me Skiller. I know Skiller51 will be better, but. Um, let me see. Um, I have actually have no idea. I, I'll I guess I'll just call myself Link, because that's the protagonist's name. And normal mode, and let's start. Actually, I cleared this game like twice before on Wii U, but I'm gonna narrate this. This is but one of the legends with the people. Which to be good. This is but one of the legends which people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where golden power lay hidden. It was a propos. <laughs> Prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for, took it for himself. With, it, with, its strings, with its strength at command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at, seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared, as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as a hero of time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their for future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youth to know courage like the hero of legend. And now that that's over, 
cue the game. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Outside Island. This is the starting island, and yeah. <laughs> um, cue nostalgic music. Hi! Big Brother. Big brother! Hi. Big brother! How many times have you said that? Or, you, know, you really need a telescope for that short distance? Like, really? I love this game. <laughs> and like any teenager, you are still not awake. <laughs> it would take me two hours to get up from there. I knew you'd be here. That's a little creepy, but okay. Hehehe, <laughs> this is my favorite, sp favorite spot to gaze out, the out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. No, that's not right. So, do you remember what day it is today? Uh, no. You're still half asleep, aren't you? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you for did did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. Oh, it is. I thought my birthday was April twentieth, but I guess not. <laughs> that's why gra that's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to their to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? And yeah, we're starting this awesome game. Uh, so, on the Wii U, uh, it's the left analog stick to, uh, to move, and the right one to change camera angle. Um, click the right analog stick to uh, first person view, uh, and um, ZR to um, target, uh, no, CL C to, to target, and uh, ZR to crouch. Uh, while running, you can press A to um, roll, or uh, if you had a sword, you could press B while standing still to pull out your sword, but you don't have a sword yet. Um, so we're this awesome, awesome uh, teenager, or <laughs> something like that, I don't actually know his age, I think he was 12 in this game, but whatever. Um, so we have this, like, st stupid... Uh, sailor costume thing. So, in the beginning of the game, you want to collect as much money as possible. Okay, um, you can do this by, yeah, throwing rocks and just finding random money. I think the, these rupees on the, um, yeah, rupees are money in this game. Uh, green worth one, blue worth five, um, yellow's worth ten, uh, purple's worth fifty, uh, orange worth a hundred, and silver is 200. I think that's right. Oh yeah, and red's 20. So, what I want... Actually, the... Oh yeah, he's just explaining the target thing right now. Um, I know this, you just press CR and press A to talk to... That's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. I'm not... I'm not a target, okay? I... I I suck at Hunger Games, I don't target people. <laughs> That's a little joke for any Minecrafters right there. Um, you see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything you want to target, you can press ZL to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There's a... how do you pronounce that? There's a... There are a myriad of... Oh, I... There are a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing if I do say so myself. Of course, it's not the only trick in my bag, not, rem re not remotely. I can, I can teach you a few more things if you just climb up the ladder over there and, and drop by my room. Uh, creepy pedophile, but <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, that 10 rupee you can, can't get yet, but I'll, I'll get that later. So, uh, we have 18 rupees. I want to get at least 200. Because the maximum right now is 
500, I think. Let's speak to this woman. It's a way of making money. I suppose, yeah, it's, it's my birthday. You should congratulate me, bitch. <laughs> uh, we just finished building all your Hudson Paddock today. Isn't that a life all it? Yeah. I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we're supposed to bring pigs to this woman. Uh, she'll, bring, uh, she'll give you 20 rupees for each, uh, each pig you get her. Oh, this kid. This kid scared the crap as scared the crap out of me as a kid. Can you just stay still, stupid pig. The thing is, a pig wouldn't be this. How can I pick up this stupid pig? Pick off the pig. There you go. Okay. I didn't even get how the, how he's even able to carry. I guess it's a piglet, but whatever. Okay. Thank you so much. And it's twenty rupees. You got twenty. You got a red rupee. That's twenty rupees. What a pleasant surprise. In other games, that actually says don't spend it all in one place, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's a description of every single rupee. <laughs> For it says um, on the green rupee, it says better collect lots of them. I'm like, really? So uh, this is a little secret in here. Um, you get a. Uh, some people recommend this for later, but um, I don't. So um, open. It's an orange rupee. As I told, it's a hundred. Your face is beaming. But um, the reason for a lot of money is um, you're gonna need, need a for later in the game. You're gonna need a lot of a lot of uh, ammo for stuff. I'm not gonna say what ammo or anything, but um, just to not spoil anything. For do, for those who know though, don't comment in, in the don't comment that in the in the thing for because of respect for those people who don't know the game. And yeah. So let's see what Grandma wants. She's not in here. Uh, I guess she's up this, up this ladder. Uh, and yeah, there's Grandma. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link. Try these on. Is that what I'm getting for my birthday clothes, really? I want an Xbox, a PS3, a Wii U, and all this other shit. <laughs> Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already already old enough to wear these clothes. Look at the face. Look at look at Link's face. Uh, that's any any teenagers any teenagers face when they get clothes from their 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 guardians. <laughs> you got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Okay. I guess the, these are. Don't look so disappointed, everyone. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It's a day that you do become the same age as the young heroes spoken of in all the legends. But the thing is, the Link in Ocarina of Time is 16 and this Link is 12. Uh, no. I'm not old enough to wear the clothes, Grandma. <laughs> you, only, you only have to wear them for a day, so don't look down. Be proud, child. I'm, I want to bet that we're gonna wear these clothes for the entire game. <laughs> In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered men. So when, so I'm 12 years old and I'm considered a man. Talk about Pokemon logic. <laughs> they, oh, sorry, I just smacked my mic. Uh, they were taught the vase, the vase of a French. Suddenly, they were taught the vase. Why am I saying vase? <laughs> they were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. There we. Go. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as a decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those age. There we go. We're in the hero's clothes. 
Does this all make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the, invite the whole par whole town over for your birthday party. So I better get started getting so I better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make you your favorite soup tonight. <laughs> I I just know what you're looking for. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go go get your sister, Ariel. So are we go we're gonna get back go back to Ariel real quick. I suppose. Can we jump out here? Okay. So we have the hero's clothes right now. I I would actually be flattered to wear these clothes. I I want to wear these clothes. <laughs> they look so awesome. Um. Even though orange is my favorite color, I still love green. And yeah. Yeah, these are Mabel. Actually. Actually. You know what? I'm gonna do this. This is a shop. They, they travel around, um, around many islands. Yeah, this one, this game is based a lot on water. As you can tell. Which is absolutely, I hate water. I hate water so much. <laughs> So that's uh, that's a little downside of this game, in my opinion. But yeah. <laughs> oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll play Top Rubis for, for your junk. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> or, uh, do you see anything you'd like to buy? Just use let's let let's stick to browse. I'm gonna buy a bait bag because uh, but it's essential because you'll, you'll need a lot of um, these in the game. A lot of, um, a lot of stuff actually fits in this bag, and yeah. You got the bait bag, and you can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. Actually, the only baits that you can... <laughs> the only, uh, bait that you actually use in this bag are the two that he sells. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna make a member card just for you. When you buy lots of things in, of your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll be no. Now you have one point saved up. Saved up. You should try to save up for 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> uh, all purpose bait. So I'm gonna buy uh, some servings of this. You, you got all purpose bait. I guess only uh, one serving is enough for now. I'll buy more later. And yeah. Uh, I'm gonna explain the. These, um, I'll, I'll explain these later, but, um, yeah, the, the, uh, uh the Yoi pair doesn't really have a purpose for, um, getting, getting, um, <laughs> further in the story, but, uh, this one does, so I'm gonna explain the Yoi pair, because so, this one spoils stuff. Uh, this one lets you control birds, believe it or not, <laughs> to the, yeah. <laughs> You, okay, don't don't trust me then. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's get get back to um, Ariel and let's and then let's end the episode. And yeah, here's Ariel. Hey, Ariel. Ah, hoy, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? Oh wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. Are you? Are you... Are you hitting on... Are you hitting on me right now? No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I guess they're pretty neat, though. Uh, so anyway, so anyway, Link. Can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm afraid you're gonna do something to me, so I'd rather not, but... Uh, uh, that's even more creepy. <laughs> Happy very Oh, okay. <laughs> This thing is useless. <laughs> There's one use in the entire game. I'm not kidding you. One use in the entire game. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Blur. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house, at our house from here. So, um, you can't see the gamepad right now, but, uh, you can see the thing on screen that I'm doing. Um, basically, you drag the telescope up to 
a button you want to use. So Y, X, and R are are are, um, <laughs> are, 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 are all um, item buttons. You can sign three items at a time, um, and you can do it while playing. You needed to pause in the original version to do this, but um, yeah. Um, let's look at it, our house, and I love the I love the motion controls. Oh, that's a uh, mailman. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> that thing. What's he carrying? Uh, I'm trying to solve it. Is there's a pirate ship? How did they not spot that before? <laughs> And cannonball to the face. <laughs> Link, this is so terrible. That girl fell that girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you used to defend yourself with. So uh, well, I call. I, I think we're gonna uh, end the episode right there. This is a big, is a bit of a cliffhanger, I know, but um, whatever. <laughs> so in the next episode, we'll go into the fort. Oh, she said we needed something to def defend ourselves. So I guess, we'll, I guess we'll go to Orca, the, th the man that only, the only man in, on the island that knew about swordplay, and <laughs> about swords, I guess, and then go into the forest and rescue that. Girl, I guess. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, su leave a like, subscribe, and favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Zelda: Wind Waker HD. Boy, boy.